Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use a TI-84 graphing calculator to help you solve a system of inequalities. So if you're graphing in the TI-84 graphing calculator, um, what you must first do is make sure that each of your equations are solved for y. So the first equation, which is a parabola, is already solved for y, so we're good on this one. Okay, um, you will also have to be able to put this on paper. So let me try drawing a straighter line than that. So I will graph this afterwards too, after we see what it looks like in our graphing calculator. So we can help get some points and all of that stuff. Okay, the second equation is not solved for y, so we want to get y solved for. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move the x to the other side. I could have also moved the 2y to the other side to make it positive. You would get the same results. So I have negative x plus 8. And then I would need to go through and divide everything by negative 2. Okay, so don't forget that when we're dividing by negatives, we do have to change this to greater than or equal to, and I would have 1 half x minus 4. So I could, again, go ahead and graph this, but I want to show you how to use the TI-84 um, to help you solve this. I am working with the color edition. I can slip over to another calculator to show you how to do it in an older version of the calculator, um, but I am going to start with the color edition first. Okay, so what you're going to do is hit the y equals screen, and I have the equation written down, so I'm going to just type negative my x squared. Remember that you have to use the x comma t comma theta comma n button. Minus 3, and that would be my first one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over to the left hand side. So if you have the color edition, this menu will come up. Um, where you could change the color, and you can also make it, if I go through, this will shade above, and the next one, okay, it stopped working on me. Let me hit the arrows. This one will shade below, so you can either shade above or below, so to tell which way you're going to do is you're going to look at your sign here, and so because this is less than, this tells us that we're going to shade below the parabola. Okay. Um, the second one, we're going to look at the one where we have y solved for, and since it's greater than or equal to, this is going to tell us that we're going to shade above. So you do have to know this before graphing it in the calculator. Okay. So for the first one, because it said, let me check one more time to make sure it said greater than. Nope, I switched it, sorry. Um, we're going to shade below on my paper. I had switched it, and I forgot that I switched it on here. So um, just hit your arrow keys so we would shade below for this one. And then for the second one, when we enter it in, I would have 1 divided by 2, x minus 4. And then for this one, because we ended up with greater than, I would come down and change it to greater than and hit the arrow and OK. And now when I graph it, what it's going to do is it's going to shade both of them in two different colors. And then you would graph the overlap. So if you're having trouble with how to put this on paper, if you hit second and table, it will give you all of the points. So we can see that some of our points, like for the um, parabola, we have 0, negative 3, negative 2, negative 7, negative 1, negative 4. Um, so we could plot those points. Um, for the line, we know that it goes through 0, negative 4, and um, negative 2, negative 5. So you could get points from here to help you graph it. So for this one, like I said, the first one for the parabola, I'm going to graph this one in white. Um, what's happening is it's shifted down 3, and because it's negative, that means it's going to open down, so I would go right 1, and then I would turn and go down 1. And then for the next point, I would go right 2, and I would turn and go down 1, 2, 3, 4. So one, sorry, one, two, three, four. And then for the other side, it would do the same thing. I would go over one, down one, over two, down four. And for this one, because of the fact that it is not included, I would have to do a dotted line. Okay, 
If you notice on here the graphing calculator does not show us that it's dotted, you have to know whether it's dotted or solid. Um, it will just always do it as a solid line. Okay, um, the second equation, I'm gonna go ahead and graph this one in blue. We would start at negative four, and then our slope is up one over two, and then we would go up one over two again, and I just do three points to help me draw a straighter line. I could have also gone down one and back two. That would also work. This one is going to be solid because of the fact that it has a line underneath it. So anytime it has a line underneath it, it's going to be solid. And we want everything that is below the parabola, but above the line. So that would just be this region here. And so like I said, it's the overlapping colors in your calculator. Like I said, if you don't have the color feature on yours, I'm gonna to switch to a TI-84 plus calculator. It's just gonna take a second to load. Um, when I hit the Y equals screen, I would still type it in. So I would have the negative X squared um, minus three. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrow over, and I should have done this beforehand. Um, since it was less than, I would just hit enter until it's shaded below. If you miss it, you have to come back all the way. Um, for the second one, because it was greater than, we would get it to greater than, and we would type in the one divided by two, hit the X button, minus four, and graph. And it's not gonna be as pretty because it's black and white, so you can see that it's this overlap area here. Okay, so the color one is definitely better at showing the overlap than this um, one is. All right, so just to recap, remember that when you are solving a system of inequalities, you are looking for the overlap region, the region that is true for both of the equations. We use dotted if it's less than or greater than. We use solid if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So if it includes it, use a solid. If it doesn't include it, use a dotted. We shade below if it's less than and we shade above if it's greater than. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.